What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. Got a really cool video for you today. If you do any kind of LinkedIn direct outreach and, and you want to generate more leads on LinkedIn, this is definitely the video for you. Going to be covering smart sequences uh, from WeConnect. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos on LinkedIn lead generation, you know that I'm a huge fan of WeConnect. It is an awesome, awesome tool. Gives you a, CR, uh, a LinkedIn CRM, which I don't know any other tool that does that. And uh, uh, it sends, you know, it's, it's just really powerful automation for sending out in um, uh, connection requests, follow up messages, all this other stuff. But they just launched this feature called Smart Sequences, so um, you can you can kind of cater what is happening uh, with your outreach depending on whether people accept your connection request or not. It's really cool. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to show you how it works and how to set it up. It's actually pretty simple. So, um, uh, as usual, my only ask is you, if you find the video helpful, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, check out the links in the description, join the Facebook group. And if you don't mind, please go through my affiliate link for we connect. It really does help the channel. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, so what I'm going to do, is just walk you through a brand new campaign setup here. Um, so we're logged into WeConnect and I'll, I'll have some, uh, again, some additional links down below where I do a full uh, review of WeConnect and whatnot. Um, they have changed their uh, the interface up a little bit, but it's a lot of it is still the same. Um, like the the messaging right here, uh, that, that's where your CRM is gonna be. You can keep track of your network and all the activity that's happening with your network. It's, it's just awesome. And uh, uh, it, it's just, to me, probably it's without a doubt, the, the most powerful tool for LinkedIn lead generation uh, on the market. So we're gonna create a new campaign. I'm just gonna do test campaign here. All right, and then we're gonna select a campaign type. And as you can see, there's a lot of different stuff you can do. Uh, another video I did was about uh, sending messages to group members. You don't even have to be connected to them. You can uh, create a campaign just to send uh, follow-up messages to them, it's awesome. So uh, you can also message your first connections. This is fantastic for a LinkedIn database reactivation campaign. So there's some really cool stuff that you can do. But for this video, we're gonna be choosing uh, smart sequences here. All right, and uh, I'm just gonna choose uh, a list that we already have here. Um, <clears throat> you do have to have a list uploaded into WeConnect in order to, to move forward with a campaign. Um, that, that's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is go to your folder right here, uh, save lists, um, you copy and paste the list that you've basically created inside of LinkedIn, whether that's on Sales Navigator or not, you, you copy the URL for that list that you've created with all your filters and everything, you paste that in, you know, it takes a few minutes depending on how big the list is and, and that's your list, all right? So uh, with that said, uh, let's move forward. So step one, uh, you can, uh, there's a few, it used to be where it would just be an in, uh, a, a connection invite uh, message where you have the 140 characters, but now there's stuff that you can do before you send your connection request. And what it, what used to be, what it, how it used to work is you'd have to create separate campaigns and run them simultaneously. And it was, um, it was, it could be effective, but it was a little sloppy. You couldn't, it was really hard to coordinate it. Now you can choose to visit their profile first. You can like a, a post first, you could follow them first, whatever you want to do. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to choose visit profile for now. And then all you do from here is you add step and you, you can just keep doing this. Uh, you can, you can visit the profile first. You can like a post a couple of days later. Like if you really want to warm people up before you send a connection request so that, you know, so you visit their profile, you like a post, maybe they visit your profile and send you a message, right? So you don't even have, uh, like it, it, the sequence doesn't even get to the point where you're sending the invitation because they've, uh, um, sent a, an invitation to you or sent a message to you, right? Um, so that's why uh, another side of your LinkedIn lead generation system needs to be having a really good profile. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on that, breaking breaking down the system that I use for that. You know, having a really good profile banner, uh, making sure your bio is, is really good, having a couple of links in there. Um, also leading with value, make sure you guys have a good uh, lead magnet, something, you know, like a free masterclass, ebook report, something like that that you can send people. So, so I mean, this is just fantastic. So like instead of just sending connection requests, now you can warm your list up and, and they can, you can get uh, exposure to them before you even send the connection request. It's just awesome. So you can adjust the days here. So maybe we start with a profile visit. One day later, we start uh, with a, it, it will like uh, one of their posts. We add another step here. Maybe then we, uh, let's see, and, um, there's, okay. So once they accept the invitation request, that's when you can endorse them. But uh, you can follow them right here. 
maybe two days later, we do a follow and then we finally send our connection request. All right, so we're gonna do an invite to connect. Uh, we'll do, you know, three days after the, the, the follow, okay? And uh, let's see, so you, uh, we would type out our message. I'm just gonna do tests for now. Uh, you can insert uh, custom fields, you know, company name, first name, job title, things like that. So we can do, uh, you know, hey, first name. And then we would insert that, okay? So now we have our connection request. Uh, so it's sending the connection request with the message, all right? From here, what we wanna do is click add step. And this is where it, it, it can get really, really cool. Uh, I mean, I already think this is pretty awesome, but th this just takes it a whole uh, to a whole other level. If the invitation is accepted, we can now send, a, well, you can do a couple of different things, but just to keep it simple, we can start sending our traditional follow-up messages, right? That's one of the really cool things about WeConnect is it doesn't just send the connection request and initial message. Once they accept it, it will continue to send follow-up messages uh, spread out, you know, however many days you do it uh, until somebody responds. Uh, and, and it's just freaking awesome, right? So it's kind of like kind of like a, an email follow-up campaign almost, uh, except it's on LinkedIn. So we do a follow-up message here. And let's say after the initial connection request, if they have not responded to that message five days later, or, you know, we'll do three days later, you, know, you would type out your follow-up message right here. I'll just put test for now. But what's really cool is if they don't accept it, you can now visit a profile. You can like another post. Uh, you can also withdraw the invite if you want to, because uh, you don't want to have too many, um, you don't want to have too many connection requests pending. That's not a good sign uh, for LinkedIn. So this is usually something that you would want to do at the end of your sequence. Uh, if they haven't replied after like four or five messages, just go ahead and withdraw the invite. You can run them through a different campaign later. Okay. Um, you can uh, choose to do nothing or you can go ahead and visit their profile again. So uh, if they have not responded, I, I like to match these days right here. Uh, so if accepted, if not accepted, I like to do the same days or amount of days spread out. <clears throat> um, so, uh, and, and here's the power of this guys is that again, what it, what you, what it used to be, uh, the way that it used to be was we'd have to wait for people to respond to our messages to really do anything. Again, you could create a separate campaign, but again, that, it's really hard to coordinate that. Um, now it's all together in one campaign. So if they're not, so if they've accepted your connection request, but they're not, they haven't responded to your messages, you can still be active on their profile to stay top of mind. So you're sending the follow up messages, but you're also you're also visiting profiles, uh, liking posts, and you're and you're doing that um, again, mimicking human behavior where you like you would normally go on their profile, check out the profile, uh, check out their posts, and things like that. Uh, it's just it's just incredibly powerful. So you know we can keep adding steps here. If you don't want to send, uh, so maybe we send this follow up message three days after they accept our invite, and we don't want to send another follow up message just yet, but maybe we uh, go ahead and endorse them this time. All right. Uh, and then if not accepted, maybe this time we do nothing. Right. And then next step, you do another follow up message. And if they have not uh, still haven't accepted it yet, then maybe you do. Um, uh, uh, what else was here? Uh, like, like, yeah, like another post. Right. So anyways, uh, it's just it's just incredibly powerful what you can do. So once you have all that put together, you hit continue um, the total actions limits. I'm still uh, I'm actually waiting to see what. Uh, like what all this entails, like does a, a profile visit uh, count as an action? And if so, would that, like if you hit your daily action limit, would that stop a follow-up message from going out? So I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out right now. I'm waiting on, uh, waiting to hear back from support, but um, either way, uh, you know, just to be safe, maybe like, you know, start with uh, 50, 50 daily actions. Um, because um, you only get uh, at the time of this recording, uh, they still LinkedIn still has that weekly invite limit of 100 per week. So you don't you don't you definitely don't want to overdo this. But if you have a lot of those different actions, endorsing, liking posts, visiting profiles, then you can get away with this being a little bit higher. Just double check with support to make sure that you're not overdoing it. I, I would have them go through your campaign, make sure you're staying safe because you don't want to get your profile banned and, and, and or anything like that. Um, you can set a schedule, continue. And uh, you would review it right here, launch it, and you're off to the races, guys. So I just wanted to uh, I wanted to walk you through that uh, because as soon as I saw this, I got I got really really excited. This is just such a cool feature 
that uh, from WeConnect and, and can really help take your LinkedIn lead generation to the next level. So um, that's all I got for you in this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Leave any questions or I, I would love to hear your feedback on this. And if you've been using this or, or you are currently, uh, let me know what your experience has been like, you know, some really cool, share some really cool sequences. I know that I am uh, definitely going to be doing that later on as I uh, play around with this feature. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you're crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.